Alrighty, ladies All right. and gentlemen, it is time for another installment of Inspector Anime Kingdom Deadly Serial And today we dive into the case of the most notorious serial killer in anime hey. history. Hey. And that is none hey. other than hey. Kira, aka yeah. Lot Yagami. And my god, with all the evidence and the amount of victims. So it's like a lot of victims, up, bro. This case is gonna be a beefy one. So let's stop wasting time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, dive in to uh, the Kira case. Uh, uh, uh. Light Yagami, one of the most diabolical niggas to ever exist. A man with a kill count that ranges in the six figures. Yeah. And had a whole yo praising this guy, thinking that he's the Messiah. Yeah. I need somebody to help me glorify God. Nah, he different. He different. Where can I request my compilation bid for the TNTL the today? Did this generic Woo. as background character looking toothpick? Send it to me on Twitter or Instagram, real quick. Built ass nigga become one of the most notorious mass murderers in fiction. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Let's that start. is why we are here. So first off, we need to know what the hell the weapon was to commit all these homicides. And death Note the is the Death Note. Now I'm pretty sure yeah. everybody knows how this thing works, but if you forgot, here's a quick refresher. The human whose name is written mm -hmm. in this note shall die. The note will not take effect unless the writer has the person's face in their mind when writing his own. Ah. Name. People sharing the same name will not be affected. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The okay. Cause of death is as as a person who didn't watch the show, and you know these these are important yeah, facts. Okay. Okay. Because okay. of writing the person's name, it will happen. And finally, after writing the cause of death, details of the death should be written in the next six minutes and 40 seconds. Now, with all of that explained, what if we it's can not? move into the first major incident. Let me come back alive? Of course, no. First no. confirmed 52 <laughs> victims. Now, when Light first found the death note, when it conveniently dropped right in front of him, he thought to himself, man, this is some bullshit. What is this, a sick joke? Who the hell would believe this? But Light being a little curious George decided to take the book. So later on, when Light got I mean, who wouldn't? Bro was a little bored. Let's be honest. So he ended up thinking in his head, mm, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try it out, right? So Light's intrusive thoughts took over. So he ended up turning on the news and hearing <laughs> freaking news. A local crackhead is holding eight children hostage at a daycare. Smart <laughs> test. Let's smart right test. I mean, he's a criminal after all. Yep. So four That's a smart test. Later, the news comes back on and says, breaking news. The crackhead is there. <laughs> the assailant just f***ed over and died. Well, this man light was shook. He was like, no, 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 no. Nah, no. It, it was just coincidence, right? Nah. <laughs> no fucking way, right? But it was no coincidence. Nope. This local crackhead was the first victim of Light. Yep. But Light needed more proof because he thought it just had to be a random coincidence that bro had a heart attack when yep. he wrote his name down. So later on that same night, Who next? while Light is walking back from cram school, he uh -huh. ends up seeing this lady walking. And these bikers come up and start to harass her. So ugly biker bastard right here ends up saying, Hey there, pretty lady. <laughs> How about you come fuck with a real nigga and come in hot? Who uh, spit on that thing? <laughs> of course he had to say it. So these freaky <laughs> ass niggas tried to redo a healer shorty in the Whoa. parking lot. But Light was in Whoa. the convenience store watching the whole thing like, not on my watch, you 69 gods. So he wrote bro's name down and made the call. How do you know his name? Death and the I think he said it. History. Oh, oh okay. breaks away while ugly bastard tries to track her down. Watch your game, bro. Watch your game. Truck him. Oh. Like that light. Hey, you know what I was just thinking about, bro? Just thinking. Imagine it would be a great setup for an anime, right? If somebody get boomed in one anime via truck, uh -huh. right? Uh huh. They get revived in a completely different anime, and they're like, uh, we don't know it's them to the end of the show. Yeah, I died by a truck. And they show the scene from the original anime. That'd be so tough. That'd be tough. That'd be so tough. 228, oh, no, I appreciate the dono. Appreciate the dono. River dono, anime and River and Nims appreciate the dono as well. Another body. And this man was stunned. He was like, no, 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 no fucking way. <laughs> I, I, I just summoned truck. Oh, that means I must be a fucking god. <laughs> 
and at this point, mean, White's God Complex was born. Yup, all oh, that ego gets to off, damn. Locked the door looking like he about to beat that thing. And said, I'm about to cleanse this water of its garbage. So this man looked up a list of criminals. It makes sense, though. This, this nigga started writing so fast, it looked like he had an essay due the next day. Fact. He just started racking up bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Going crazy thinking in his head. Yeah, that ugly bastard that was talking to that little girl the other day. Enjoy being unemployed with- I mean, so far, he not doing nothing wrong if you ask me. It just, you know, unless it takes a turn. He not doing nothing wrong, bro. In this man- Appreciate you, Epic Gamer. Just writing down names until two Damn. whole pages were full. Damn! So look at this man breathing hard as hell, looking like he just ran a you five- You that tired from writing? One night. This man killed 52 criminals. Now here's the wild part. That was just criminals that died of heart attacks. Cause when Interpol got this information, okay. they was like, there could be some people that were unaccounted for. So that death toll could have easily been over 100. Mm. So after mm. like- You know what I'm saying? Game is game. The name Kira started spreading like wildfire because light was constantly oh, dropping off shit. niggas. Every single day he was killing multiple criminals and people <laughs> all around the world was supporting this man. They had Reddit threads and Discord service yep. was glazing this nigga and this just amped up his god oh also crispy cream bro just looking at this light oh yeah, we that's right glaze me nigga yeah i gotta get that really. and of course now he got this a1 instigating shinigami ryuk attached to his hip the whole question time. question question wait a question. minute who who that uh is that a, uh, as a result of the book is he with the book yes yeah, okay, okay like a, a demon ghost okay Shit. okay okay chat does light become a Shinigami at the end of the series? Who the what? <laughs> Is he the hero we need? Yes. I, no. I, I, no. 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 Oh, Is that that's the Grim Reaper? Okay. The reason I asked because I saw um I've been seeing a lot of stuff saying that he when he dies he became a Shinigami and I was like how. It's in the manga. Absolutely not. They capping. They capping. They capping. I don't know who to believe, bro. Well, everybody say no. But even though Light was killing only criminals, at the end of the day, it was still murder. And this is when this man true, true, true the trap. Now, this is the moment where you just think to yourself, what if Light never made this crucial mistake? And that mistake was killing Linda L. Taylor on be? live TV. Oh. So a worldwide public service announcement comes on TV. And this man announces himself as L. But obviously, this ain't L. But Light didn't know. So Lind L. Taylor starts speaking and saying, Good afternoon, world. My name is Lind L. Taylor. Kira, if you're watching this, we have a message for you. You are evil and you are just a mindless serial killer. And I'm going to bring your punk ass to justice. So while Light is watching this, here come this instigating ass nigga. Ooh, Light. I'm not going to lie, that nigga pressing your shit right now. So what the fuck? He instigating like a mug. Here what? this man Light. His ego is challenging. Yep. You think I'm fucking evil put all that fucking yeah <laughs> i am god and you can suck my divine dick six feet under okay so got to work quick he wrote bro's name down in a heartbeat and after he finished he was like yeah that's right i'll show the world what happens if you defy me so 40 seconds later and lind l taylor has a heart attack croaks over and dies and here go Light thinking he got it in the bag right What's wrong? Huh? get the fuck up huh but see you was talking to that shit What's good, fuck, nigga? Huh? Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Kira, I can't believe it. You was one dumbass nigga. You really think I'd get my introverted ass on TV and f***ing press you like this? You one stupid ass nigga, and now I know all your shit. The dude you just killed? Damn, he was due for execution today anyway, so he oh. didn't off. Also, this is not a worldwide broadcast. This, this is, is just you. This is the console oh. region of oh. Japan. So guess what, motherfucker? I know exactly where you at. Mmm. So Go on ahead and try to kill me. Do it. Come on. I'm waiting for you right here. Don't be a pussy bitch. Show me you got some balls on you. Or is it that you need a name and a face? Fuck. Mmm. <laughs> he got your ass. Could it be me though? <laughs> Kira notice on oh, my mama. I'm coming for your I bitch ass. Aaron. Your I think Aaron. I That was what I was supposed to do. You paint me. Put paint my friend. I said mention me on Twitter <laughs> or Instagram. Why you ping Aaron? <laughs> what? Okay, for sure. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what?
So after this man L played light like a fool and pressed the living hell out of him, the investigation on Kara went into full effect. So this is where we move on to our next set of evidence and next set of victims. And our first key victim is Ray Pinber. Now, Ray Pinber was a FBI agent. Yeah, this case got so big that mm. this man L ended up getting help from the FBI, FBI to come solve this case because that's how horrendous this shit got. Cause Light was murdering like 23 niggas a day at this point. Yeah. Just dropped Jesus! His body an hour and just toying with L the whole time. So L suspected that whoever Kira was right. had to have ties to the police. Because how the hell would this would he have all the all criminals information on these criminals? And what do you know? Light's dad is the police chief. Oh so damn! L basically made every single person that had ties to the police be kept under surveillance by the FBI. And Ray Pimber's job. That's a lot of manpower. Light and obviously Light didn't need this type of heat. So Light decided, I'm going to have to put this man in a coffin. No, so Light, no, it's the, y'all, you're it, set up. Bro, bro. The only one that died was the one that was watching you? Yep. See? Yep. Oh, he started crashing, bro. That complex took over, bro. He came up with this devious ass plan. Oh. And that was the bus jacking incident. So for this, I mean, this is it's up as loud as so uh, loud as it go. Crackhead on the most wanted list, Kichiro Otsuruda. I'm not gonna lie, I just butchered that man's name. So the second part of his plan, he needed a shorty. So this man dialed up one of his shorties on his roster and called her and said, "Hello." I'm over here stroking my. Oh my god. <laughs> Day, Light ends up meeting the girl to go on their date to Disneyland. And of course, Ray Pember is right behind them following them, all according to Light's plan. So they end up getting on the bus and Ray Pember sits right behind them. So about a good 15 minutes later, they stop at the next bus stop and uh -huh. the local crackhead gets on the bus. And this man wasted no time. He cocked back the gun and said, Hey, everybody, sit the fuck down and do your best Rosa Parks impersonation. I'm going to blow this nigga brains out. But, 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 but sir, please. I ain't playing with sir. you, nigga. So this please. man called up Disneyland and said, Bring out all the cash you made today. And make sure the nigga that's bringing out got on a Minnie Mouse costume. Sir, we're able to comply with your demands but why the Minnie Mouse costume so I could get my nut off oh my, my god <laughs> really really CJ that's who we put in there I told you how that boy that boy CJ that's coming from someone that's, that's a gooner boy that boy, that's in his heart boy like, CJ, a freak boy <laughs> Minnie <laughs> Minnie Mouse Minnie Mouse so while this lunatic is high out of his mind and going wild, this man Ray Pimber leans over and says, All right, y'all, like he said, stay calm and do your best Rosa Parks impersonation. My name is Ray Pimber, FBI. So when oh. this man Light looked at this man's ID, bro just smirked and thought in his head, <laughs> Jeez. Stupid ass nigga. Oh, you still the stupid one. So Light digs in his pocket and drops a piece of paper oh. on the floor. So the crackhead's like, The fuck you moving for, you little shit? Do you you want me to blow your brains out, nigga? But Light meant to drop that paper because that was a piece of the death note. So old boy turns around and starts tweaking because he ends up seeing Ryuk behind him. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. This man Ryuk, but obviously it ain't working. So bro ran up to the bus driver and said, I don't know, get me off this bus. <laughs> so the bus driver stops. Bro runs out into the street and Cartoon comes flying down the Yo. street. Shatters this nigga's guts like the Nickelodeon logo. And of course, of course, <laughs> Light is sitting on this bus with no emotion, looks at his watch and said, 1145 on the dot, right on schedule. Light staged this entire bus game. Oh. Cause using the death note, he made this man board the bus, attempt to hijack it, then jump out and get hit oh. by a car due to accidental death. And then at the end of this, Ray Pember thinks nothing suspicious of this man. Cause he thought, <laughs> I mean, he couldn't be Kira. Cause he would've just offed him when he got on Knight the bus. Was never so a now Shiragami. this guy does not suspect People Knight. just started to compare to him to the Shiragami. In the manga, it stated that was not light. Okay, bet. Appreciate you, the manga. That was smart. Yeah, that was brilliant. smart. Carm Carminara. Appreciate the sub. And light has his name. Mm. So after light boomed the second local crackhead, it was time to move into phase three of his plan. Mm. So about a week later, at a subway station, he ends up seeing Ray Pember walking. So light puts on his hood, looking like he' about to hit a lick. So he gets behind him and says, "Ray Pember." 
Don't move a fucking muscle. What are you up to, twin? Right here. So Light tells this man that he's Kira. And to prove it, he said, look over there. You see that nigga with them glasses on? I'ma drop that nigga right now. And bro right here starts having a heart attack. Damn, an innocent man. No, he wasn't innocent. Off this man in the public eye. And then Light told him, don't worry, you shouldn't feel bad for him. What up, Eminem? Register sex offender and a PDF file. Mm. Caught him talking to three little boys the other day. So Light gives Okay, Boy, for hey, sure. I know some folks that would I, be we, in we know trouble. a couple. We know what month is it? Trouble. We know August. seven or eight of them. You know eight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was eight. a dude. It was a y'all heard about the Fortnite leaker who, who was? Oh, and we got the kick dude. You know. So oh, and the kick dude. Would the kick know? dude make nine? Probably. It's at, well, it's actually more than eight or nine. It's way more. It's just it's been one prominent one yeah. every month. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Gives him an earpiece and tells him to board a train. So later on, when he boards the train, Light tells him to open the envelope and he sees all these papers. So Light says in his ear, I want you to write your boss's name in every oh, single FBI whoa, agent whoa, that came whoa, here in Japan. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna drop your ass and your bitch right the fuck now. So Ray Pember writes down all the names. So after this, Light told him, wait 30 minutes and then get off the train. So 30 minutes pass. Ray Pember gets off the train and it happens. <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa! And right before the lights went out, this man looked up and saw who Kira was the Jeez. whole time. And saw it before he died. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Jeez. So after the lights went out for Ray Pember, he got him out of there like a smooth criminal because he had already quit working his case. Uh, yep. he got him out of there. Okay, he, well, he, he was still working the case. He just wasn't. No, he, he, he cleared him. Yeah, yeah. He cleared him and he got him. Damn! The rest of the FBI's, cause the sheet that Ray Pember wrote those names on Ugh. were death note sheets. Yep. So the other eleven agents that were in Japan and his boss shortly died right after. Cause he had his fate. He had nothing. Oh, he's out. He cooking. He cold. He, cold. he cold. He cooking. But the thing is, bro, he I'm gonna be real with y'all. So look, 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 look. Let me tell you something. Light, light messed up several ways, right? There's several ways that light messed up, bro. Right? Number one, and this is this is if we were based off of like real world stuff, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what's up, brothers? Hope you two have a wonderful stream. Love all the react videos. Appreciate you, thank you, Gangi. Number one, cameras. Uh -huh. Buses oh, have cameras. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The store that he killed, cause the first dude, in, cameras. But they don't know. But they also don't know what they're looking for at the same time. But the location in which people died, where he yeah. was at, he's tied. Once to, he start, yeah. Once he start going out in public, yeah, he's yeah, tied yeah. to three of those murders for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You feel me? Like location based. Have y'all watched the live action and remake? Like Hell no. Yagami did the. Un I did. I heard. I heard it was ass. So I didn't. That's the Netflix version. Mm -hmm. The FBI. Because the director of the FBI calls L and tells him, Mr. L, um, I'm sorry, but America's gonna have to pull out of this one. This shit's getting out of hand. <laughs> now, it yeah. seems that Light I would to too. make his victory lap. But there was one problem. There was a loose end. And that loose end was Ray Pember's fiance, a former FBI agent. Oh, so she, she got coming back in the game. And quickly figured out whoever Kira was had to be on that bus. Also, she ended up figuring out that he can kill in other ways besides a heart attack. So a couple days later, she goes to the police station because she's basically figured out this entire thing. All she needs to know was who was on the bus. So when she goes to the police station and asks to speak to Light's dad, who is over the case, just by coincidence, Light walks in and overhears her talking about it. So Light was like, who the hell is this? Bitch! So he <laughs> to her tells her, Hi, excuse me, ma'am. My name's Light. Pleasure to meet you. You see, my dad is the chief of the police force, so I can help you out real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they end up walking outside and they start chatting it up. So the first thing Light asks is, Um, uh, Miss Beautiful Miss, um, can I have your name? So she says, Um, yeah, um, my name's Shoko Maki. So Light already has the name. So now his plan was to just talk her up, figure out what she knows, and if she knew too much, he was going to offer. So they kept on talking, and she just kept on yapping. Yapping away. She said was right. Yapping the away, bro. Finger was. She said that. Um. Yeah. Um. So my fiance said that he showed somebody his ID, and he wasn't supposed to. So whoever he showed his ID to. <sighs> oh, boy, I had to pull that book out right now. <laughs> yeah, it's over for you. <laughs> oh. da, 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 da. You're dead to me. Appreciate the sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Bro, she the, cra the craziest part about. 
Death Note, right? Death Note is about a a, a super smart evil nigga. Uh, like he's he's killing bad people, but then he but he's just getting, getting his rocks off, it, and then he just start killing good people. Yeah, cause he look what he got himself into. I after this stream, we uh we gaming with the crew, so yeah. we're moving to the solo streams after this. Ooh, yeah, um, that's most definitely Kara. So Light was like, shit, she knows way too much. She got to die now. Now. If they pull up them bus cameras, no way. Light's cooked. So here go this sinister ass nigga. So bro starts asking her questions, but in reality, he's writing down her name. So Light thinks he's got her, but a couple of more seconds pass. She didn't go? She's still alive. Nani? So Light ends up figuring out because Ryuk's ass was laughing at him the whole time that she used the alias. So that was not her real name. So Light is starting to panic. It is do or die. Detroit, appreciate the sub. <laughs> and then you got a person in front of a car. <laughs> if she got to the police station, he's done. So he pulled this last trick out of his ass and told her, well, you see, ma'am, um, it's going to be actually impossible for you to go back to the police station because they're very busy right now. But it's OK, though, because I'm on the Kira task force. Oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah. Uh oh, I have. OK, can he pull too. it off? So this Pinocchio long nose lion ass nigga basically baited her and told her, you know what, ma'am, you are really smart. You should join the task force with us. All you got to do is show me your ID so I can check your credentials. So obviously she jumped at the idea because she wants to bring her fiance's killer to justice right. so she whips out her id and it's over light saw her real name wrote it down and made the cause be of unaliving herself no! so right she asked this man um why do you keep on looking at your watch oh because i'm kira duh stupid bitch Ooh. And it was over. Ooh. She ended up walking away, and she's going to underlive herself. And she G can't help and it. She's walking away. This she can't help it. Just talking and saying, "Oh, ma'am, um, what's wrong? D you still need to use my phone, right? I thought we were gonna catch." Oh, he evil. evil. Yeah, he evil. Damn, damn, damn. bro, bro, damn. bro. They, damn. they love, bro. <laughs> this is. Remember how I was like. The two fact is how many light Yagami kill for per year is actually six hundred thousand kill, and anyone name in his death note. So look, so peep. Jeez. So peep, 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 peep. peep. Remember, I was like, there's certain animes. If shorties love this character or they love the anime, they're toxic. Yeah. He's if they love Light Yagami, they're toxic. They're toxic. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Y'all think she was pregnant? I, don't, I didn't watch it, so I don't. No, I don't think she was. I don't think she was. Wow. All she could do is go, you're Kira, and walk away and go do it. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Can't control. What makes this even more tragic, they never found her body. We don't know what the hell happened to her. All we know is that she unalived herself. And with that, the bus jacking incident comes to a close. Jeez. And hey, that first part of the bus was Moving smart. On, we got more people dying. Flip the board for our next Appreciate the rain. Now, obviously, we know Light's biggest opposition is L. One of the smartest characters in fiction. This nigga's anime Sherlock Holmes. And this man was on. Hey, bro, I think, I think L's autistic. He remind me of old buddy from Prison Break. I think L's autistic, bro. I've been, I've been, I've been meaning to say that uh, out I mean, loud for the longest. <laughs> look at him, bro. I think L's autistic, just from how he, how he, how he sits, how he talks, He's how something. smart he is. He's something. One of the smartest characters look in at him. this nigga's anime Sherlock Holmes, and this man was on lights ass 24 7 because he always had a hunch that light was kira i mean he literally walked up to bro and said hey man uh my name's l and i think there's a five percent chance that you're kira what he didn't tell him his I, name i'm not he? sure all the way but there's like a five percent chance bro he had this man join the kira task force to keep an eye on him more he even had camera set up in his room watching him 24 wow. 7 so you know damn well that he was watching him that was him hmm? that was the dude from prison break that i was talking about was it so you know no. No, no, no. That's okay. from the shining. Yeah, that's from the shining. Yeah, he was watching him. He looks similar to him. Shit. And don't be acting like I'm reaching. You think Light was cracking Misa? Fuck no. He hated this bitch. Speaking of that, let me go ahead and introduce the accomplice. The second Kira, Misa. Right. Absolute brain dead. This girl suffers from brain dead. <laughs> And she's just deeply in love with this nigga. And the reason why is because her parents were murdered. And lo and behold, oh, guess who brought justice to the murderer? Yeah, off that nigga. 
and how she got a death note is even crazier. One night she was walking home and she got approached by some crazy ass stalker nigga and he was ready to kill her. So a Shinigami named Jealous that was weirdly in love with her decided to save her life and kill the stalker at the cost of his life. So Rim decided, uh, I might as well give her the death note. He would have wanted it this way. And Tada, Miss Brain Rot, yep. became the second hero. Ah. So Rot decided to use her because she had the Shinigami eyes and she could see any person's name just by looking at them. Mm. But at the cost of a half in your lifespan, though. But Lightning, wow. he needed her to dep in his bag so he could kill people 10 times easier. So he made her pose as his girlfriend. So time passes, and one day, L ends up capturing Misa, suspecting her of being the second Kira, because they raided her apartment and just found a bunch of shit. So she got put in confinement. So Light said, F it, it's time to activate my master plan. So to make sure Misa did not confess, he had Rim make her relinquish ownership of the Death Note, so it would wipe... Did he not know who L was? He, he didn't know L's name at that time. Oh, CJ was just doing the... He was just he, he, what he CJ said is not close to what he's obviously is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like because L said this is L. Like he never L has never said his name. So Kira, oh, Kira okay. to this point doesn't know L's name. Mm. All of her memories of it. Then had Rim and Ryuk swap notebooks, and in the notebook he wrote down two BS rules that basically said if the person that is using the notebook hasn't wrote down a name in 13 days, they die. And if you destroy the notebook, all the humans that have used it will die. So he told Rim, go give this notebook to a greedy, power-hungry bastard and let them become Kira, while I give myself up to L, relinquish ownership of the Death Note, and go into solitary confinement for a total of 50 days. And that's what Light did, because on day seven of his confinement, Light gave up his ownership of the Death Note and lost all of his memories of it to take all suspicion off of him. And on day 15, okay. the murder started back up again. And the person murdering these people was Mr. Kiyosuke Higuchi okay. of the Yotsuba group. Mm -hmm. So him and this group decided to kill other businessmen to further the growth of their company. Greedy, okay. Disney just building a bigger <laughs> monopoly. Facts. They downfall I ain't gonna lie, bro. The Disney shit, Disney and Warner Brothers shit should be illegal. Okay. Because they own damn near everything. If they ever do a merger, it's GG's. It's mm -hmm. literally GG's, bro. Like, I was thinking about this. I don't think they can because of the law, huh? Uh, I don't can know. Can they technically do that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't but, know. Yeah. Uh, uh, was they had some rats and that was these two right here because they basically sold out and was talking to l the whole time so over time after light and misa was released from confinement and l and light the two smartest niggas on the earth working on the case simultaneously ended up figuring out that it was higuchi so one night they end up baiting him out with a fake broadcast saying that they're about to reveal who kira is so later on while this man is speeding down the road he ends up getting stopped by a cop so the cop do his thing. He like, license and registration, please. So Higuchi's please. like, all right, all right, all right. But this man was not reaching for the license. He was reaching for the death note. And he made the Shinigami ideal so he could see the officer's name. So he wrote bro's name down, then just hit the gas and took off. So this man starts a whole high-speed chase running from this cop. And about five seconds later, the cop ends up having a heart attack hey. and crashes into the back of a truck. Another victim by truck coon. Damn, this nigga's on a tear. So that man L said all units arrest this nigga and I kid you not this shit went from death note to Tokyo drift so this man had the whole task force chasing him L light and watery in the chopper and they was not playing games they said this shit is tonight so while this man Higuchi is speeding on the road this man runs into a police blockade so he ends up getting cornered and he is trapped you're done so buddy what are you gonna do away. but phase watery is up here on the helicopter and says not on my watch fuck boy and shoots his tire around Makes him spin out and he crashes. Get him out of here. And it was over for Higuchi. They surrounded that man. So they cuff him, pin him down, and they start interrogating him. 
Now here is where this master manipulator plan comes full circle. Okay. So while they're interrogating him, Higuchi tells him that there is a notebook that allows him to do all of his killings. Yeah, interrogate so him right on the street. And he searches the car and he finds the death note. So when he touches it and starts looking through it, he oh, ends up seeing the room and freaks the fuck ah, out. Damn. So then the other detective comes over and he says, Chief, are you all right? The fuck you screaming for? Oh, shit. So that man, L, says, bring the notebook over to the helicopter. So L gets the notebook and just starts staring into nothingness, just going into a deep thought. But he ended up realizing there has to be more than one notebook because there were two Kiras. And while that was happening, Light was like, let me see it. And Light grabbed the notebook and started tweaking. Bro, the light, he entered the avatar state. Every single All his memories memory coming back. Back into this man's head. So L was like, uh, bro, are you good? And Light was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. It swaps over to his face and it's over. This nigga just thinking, yes, yes, I've won. <laughs> All according to plan. So this man pulls out a piece of paper that he had in his watch plucks himself and makes him bleed and writes down Higuchi's name with his blood. And 40 seconds later, while they're taking him back to the car to arrest him, Higuchi has a heart attack, falls to his knees and dies. And look at this man's face, bro. It is all over. It was just about to get worse from here. So they get back to headquarters Damn. and they start looking <laughs> over the death note and they find those fake bogus rules that Light made. And that fake 13 days rule basically cleared him and Misa's name. So they were off the hook. So this is when Light's mask. Hey, this nigga's a genius, bro. Hold on, Clint. Bro. bro hey, bro, 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 the, crazy part, bro, the crazy part, bro. The crazy part. The nigga could have went a whole different route. Could have went a way be, different bro, route. Bro, you could have been a billionaire, bro. But this nigga. <laughs> kill, kill. <laughs> Hey, God, let him, like, Whoa, okay. Go, bro, wait. <laughs> the mind, bro. He was him. He was him. Bored. He made Misa go find the other death note. Gain all of her memories Remember, back. Okay. And left a note saying, yeah, you remember that guy, L? Find his real name and kill him. So she makes the Shinigami ideal again, cutting her lifespan in, in half, half again. Life. And he makes her start killing people again. And this is where Rim ended up realizing what Light's full plan was. And that was to get suspicion back on Misa so that Rim would have to intervene and kill L to protect Misa because Rim deeply cared about Misa. Yeah. So it was uh -huh. from here. The power goes out and she didn't already kill Watery. This old man fighting for his life. So he ends up deleting all the data. And then a few seconds later, it happens. L has a heart attack, Damn. falls over. And before he dies, the last thing that he sees is this evil, dickheaded Damn. ass smirk just to rub it in at the last second. And the lights went out. L was dead. Now here comes the attitude swap up. Look at this fucker. He's like, oh, no, that was the shitty guy. <laughs> You know, y'all, I'm not gonna shoot this. This was an asshole, bro. But I have to admit, you gotta respect it. This was an asshole, dog. Game is game, game bro. Is fucking game. Game hey. is game. Also, ladies, I'm gonna be honest. Any nigga ever tell you they love Death Note, run. That's a master manipulator. Yeah. I mean, That's yeah. a true gaslighter. Like, I know a homie. I know a homie. Hey, I can't even call him a homie. You don't like the show? No, I like the show, but I don't love it. Oh, you talking about love? You talking? Yeah, about, bro. I know. I about know number it. one. I know a dude. Right? He's he's really that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I cheated on you, but what? it's it's because I just felt like you didn't love me enough. Exact sentence. Oh, he said it to exact sentence. Said, run that back. I know I cheated. I on know you. I cheated on you, but it's because I felt you you didn't love me enough. That's been crazy for her. She wow. stayed. She stayed. You wanna know who you wanna know who he cheated on her with? Who? Her best friend. Her best friend. I said. And he loved Death Note. <laughs> I tried. Hey, he took two, he took notes. Bro, bro, I bro, I was like, I can't ever fuck with you, cuz. <laughs> I can't ever fuck with you, Oh, dude. my God. Never, never, ever. Never. In this game, this man is the best mass manipulator right beside this bastard. So then later, he ends up finding Rim's pile of ashes because she died because she was saving Misa and, like, just casually takes his death note back. 
So after this, Light was about to go on another mass murder requiem. This man stands bro, at stop, the top bro. of the building, pulls out his pen, bro. and started going on a rampage. These two people that were on the task force that were basically convicts, uh, yeah, it was wrapped. Game over. Bootleg Nina Williams. She's out here riding her motorcycle. She has a heart attack, crashes the motorcycle, and dies. Damn. And this next one was tragic. This dude right here, Iber, his wife and kid walks in the room. And the kid's like, Daddy! Just to see his dad's corpse fall on the ground. Oh man, and y'all remember the Yotsuba group? They thought oh yeah, get them out of here. Rinji gets up and tells Suguru that. Get them out of here. Man, this is a new start for Yotsuba. Yeah, man, our stock is about oh. to roar. Just for this man to fall over. Oh, <laughs> blood. And oh boy, right it's here. It's over. Now, he has a heart attack. And every everybody in the, the office died. But light didn't stop there. Now I He's literally playing a symphony. He's up there. Ba -da 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 bro. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I be seeing stuff like this, and it's be like, it, it, it's the it's the realization. Number one, number one, number one, number one, number one, number one. Right. In movies, mm -hmm. because of movies, right. I can never live in Chicago, and I can never live in New York. Even L.A. L.A. had a couple movies. Oh yeah, a couple right. zombie joints. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. So there. Because of anime, boy, Tokyo I ain't never no, getting your boy. <laughs> never. 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 I'm good in touch. Theory. Because they didn't confirm this, but I honest to God think that this is true. While he's on this killing montage, it shows all the past news reporters that have reported on this man. Now you see this woman right here. Keep this. On this board where it shows a bunch of criminals being wiped out, she is Why is she there? Right Why is she there? And her picture goes out. So that tells me this nigga killed all of the news reporters that said some shit about him. I'm sick. I'm actually. Oh, yeah. He on the tirade. It would, it would, bro. You know how terrifying. Imagine you a YouTuber. He's talking yeah. about not the disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? He moving chess pieces to take what? out the game. What? what? Wow. What? Fucking sick. Nigga said, fuck bad press. Y'all can suck my dick, TMZ. And after this, it just got worse. Over the next five years, Light's killings increased tenfold because there was nobody that could stop him. Nobody. So this is a time where this man had to have dropped off at least 100,000 plus. Mm -hmm. America claimed him as law, judge, jury, and executioner because they couldn't do nothing. Look at George Bush old ass. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Can't blame the old nigga because life's reign of terror just got worse and worse. Did it at least stay criminals? And worse. No. No? I mean, the nigga can control truck coon on command. And the most chilling thing is. Some of them were criminals, some of them were not. Like, in some of the deaths, uh, excuse me, innocent people had died as well. Oh, <clears> my jeez. <throat> man ever did was go to L's grave and just start derangingly laughing his ass off. Look at this nigga. He has his ass up. He's he tooted. His grave. He tooted on his grave. He tooted on the man grave, bro. Okay. Alright. I seen a dude doing this at the track yesterday. It was crazy. I was like, why uh, is he tooting? I need like you that? to, uh, I, I gotta spoil my hero real quick. It's not a real spoiler. Alright. Um, I'ma just say this. I'm gonna just say this. In chat, nobody say nothing. Nobody say nothing. You say something about what I'm about to say, you get banned. Like if you if you spoil, you get banned. Ain't no reason, ain't no way in hell we in a fight to the death and you pop your ass out in front of me. But why are you okay? But so, nah, this is a real like this is in the I'm show. I'm not gonna ask no questions, boy. I'm not gonna ask no questions. Mike, cousin, Mike said, cousin. I swear on God, I, not even. The, he he said, like, look at it. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> I swear. Why? I okay, swear. Yeah, I, I say we gonna get back to light tuning it up, bro. <laughs> Well, okay. And spinning on his shit. I mean, look at that thing. That's shit. That's that booty me. This nigga Light said, Tuck Tua. Ain't my goes now. And with Light's victory, 
we now move into our final set of evidence. Now, at this point in time, Light has taken the mantle of L. Yes, Light just didn't kill L. Oh, he took his he whole, took flow, his, his whole oh my God. And L's successors, uh, Mir and Mello, are now on his ass. So Mello and the Mafia decided to kidnap the director of the MPA so they could trade him for the Death Note. So guess what Light did? Ding, 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 you probably guessed it. Light kills the director of the MPA yeah. so the Mafia will lose their leverage. But guess what? That's just the start of this last little list that I have. So, you want to hear some more terrible shit? Of I course! You. So, since Light killed the director of the MPA, Mello and the Mafia decided, let's kidnap this man's sister so they could get more leverage. So, after this whole trade went down and they got back his sister, she was so traumatized uh -huh. by this experience. Her mind was broken. She was so fucked up, she couldn't even talk. Had her in a wheelchair and everything at Arkham. Man, if you're a woman up! His sister was sadly a victim of his action. But guess who also was a victim of his actions? His daddy. Yeah. This man used his dad as a pawn. Oh. So to get back that death. Oh, he's gone. Like he's lost. To relinquish his. It made Misa send a message that said Kira will be relinquishing his death note to somebody in the task force. And guess who took ownership of that death note and made the Shinigami ideal? His daddy. His dad. So later on, they end up raiding Mello's hideout. And at the end of the raid, Light tells his dad to confront Mello. So while Light's dad is confronting Mello, Light's dad was hesitant about writing his name down and killing him. So one of the dudes that was left alive shoots his dad uh, in the back. Uh, Mello blows up his hideout. Uh, so after this, they are oh, in the okay. hospital and Light's dad is about to die. So you know what this sick, pathetic bastard does? He says, Dad, please, before you go, you've got to write his name down. Is this nigga serious? Come on, old motherfucker. Help me out here, damn it. Do something useful for your son before you fucking die. Oh my God. Get him the fuck out of here. Get him the, please. Black, get him the fuck out of here. Like, I can't begin to tell you how pathetic this shit was. Yo dad is about to die. Because of your actions, by the way. Yes. And you begging, this and you begging him to help you. That's no game. Sick bastard. And this Man. Was the worst part. Since his dad had the Shinigami eyes, he looked at Light and said, Oh, sonny boy, I'm glad to see that you not Kira because I could see your lifespan. And I could die at peace. This man's dad died not knowing that his son was Kira because he relinquished that death note. Because the thing was that if you were a user of the death note, a person with Shinigami eyes could not see your lifespan. So his dad died living a life. Oh, Sick man. Shit. And his blood is Don't like cry. Cancer. This is your fault, bro. This is your bro, fault. The nigga, the nigga, the nigga was crying because that nigga ain't died, twin. Yeah. Oh. oh. That nigga ain't give a fuck. He give a fuck about, about, about his dad. Nigga mad at he was man. crying because the his enemy did. Yeah. That's crazy. Nigga give a fuck about that nigga, bro. That's crazy. So he joins Doflamingo in the Patricide Club. Now we have come down to our last major victim, and this one was just. Peak manipulation. So while Kira's influence was growing stronger in the world and Light was out here inciting riots to stop Nier, he needed the right people to spread his message. So the ex Kira, Teru Mikami, who was basically Light's right hand man uh -huh. that he personally chose after uh -huh. making Misa relinquish her death note again and losing all of her memories, decided we need a change of management. So this fat nigga, Demigawa, who was the leader of Kira's kingdom and is the spokesperson for. <laughs> <laughs> decided to stream their Sunday service on TV. Uh huh. Tell me how you feel now. Is that TD Jakes? I don't know. Yes, you know. So Mikami said, fuck these niggas. So he deletes every single one of these lunatics on live TV. Delete. Then he saved Demi Gall's fat ass for last. He said, the doors of the church are open. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So after Mikami disbanded the church of Kira, he chose a loyal supporter of Kira to be the next spokesperson. And that was Kiyomi Takada, Light's ex-girlfriend back in college. So you see where this is probably gonna go, right? <laughs>
So Light convinced the task force that we should use Shorty to get some more leverage on Kira and find out who that is. But obviously, Light had ulterior motives with her. So one night, he meets up with her. So here go this manipulation, Riz. How you doing, Shorty? Yeah. I'm looking as fine as ever. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Seven o'clock on the <laughs> I'm in my job time, cruising the street. <laughs> I got a penny, penny, little tiny. I don't know. I don't know that part. I don't remember that part. I oh, ah, oh, I, I wanted to physically assault you just now. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I always hear the seven o'clock on a dot, but I never really listen to the song for real, for real. You know? Yeah, he's I'll, our me. friendship's over. I've heard the song. No, I'm not saying I, I haven't heard the song. Over. I'm just saying I don't. Our friendship's you know, over. Type B. So he basically told her, look, shorty, I'm Kara, and I see that my dog has chosen you as my spokesperson, so I'ma make you the goddess of the new world. Mm -hmm. And she was so ecstatic. Mm -hmm. She was entrenched mm -hmm. in this nigga. Mm -hmm. And yeah, y'all could probably mm -hmm. guess what happened after this. Now they mm -hmm. don't show mm -hmm. it, but let's be real. Mm -hmm. Light like the pipe on her ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, he, he put that down. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Wow. So after like wow. getting his freak on and getting <laughs> Taka to work with him, he had Shorty basically being another Kira. So he made Mikami make a fake notebook and sent the actual names to Takada, bringing her in and making her do some damn killing. And she was just dignitized. She had that Jeffrey Dahmer syndrome when Shorty was just <laughs> fiending over that nigga for some odd reason. But time for shit to get crazy. So one day, Takada ends up getting ran up on and kidnapped by Mello. So a couple uh -huh. hours passed and Mello started trying to interrogate her. Bro pulled out the gun and said, all right, chop, chop. Take off them clothes and start shaking them booty cheeks. I'm going to blow your fucking brains out, bitch. So Crazy while she line. starts stripping, Crazy she ends up taking a piece of the death note out that she had on her bra. So while Mello's transporting her in the back of this truck, she ends up calling light and she on the phone saying, oh my God, baby. Shake my booty cheeks. So Light said, Baby, calm down. Now, did you do what I told you to do if you ever got in a situation like this? Yeah. And that is what she did because she wrote Mello's name down and killed that nigga. Got him out of there. Light being a sick into That's all he wanted. Decided, nah, I'm going to get as much out of you as I can until your gas tank is empty, bitch. So Light told her on the phone, The time has come. Of course. Execute. <laughs> Execute. Order 66. So he made her call up Mikumi and made her tell him, send me as many criminals as you can so I can go on a killing spree. So while she was doing that, Light was just sitting in the car on the way Chilling. to go pick her up. And in his head, he just said, man, you know what? You should have never went to that frat party without me, bitch. And it was all over for sure. Light made her Bro! herself by burning herself alive and setting Bro! everything fire to get rid of every single piece of evidence. And just like that, that was Brother! the final victim. Yeah. Because Bro the next day on January 28th, boop, boop, boop. this nigga got <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but the final confrontation with Nier Light got cooked. This nigga went out so sad, bro. Nier read this motherfucker like a book. It was actually fucking hilarious seeing this nigga lose his mind because Mikami utterly failed. So Light tried to pull a fast one, but Matsuda just oh, dumped oh, bullets in his oh. ass. So for Light to escape, Mikami just unlocked himself. Nigga committed seppuku, and Light just ran away, but they didn't even bother chasing him. He was done. He so was done for. watching over the whole thing was just like, Jesus. Well, I'll give it to you. Like you was one entertaining motherfucker, but I need my notebook back. And on January 28th, 2010, anime's most deadliest serial killer dies of a heart attack. Man, how everything I mean, comes full fucking circle, full it, buddy. Circle of life like a mug. All right, everybody, it's time for our final tally. Now, obviously, keeping kill count in this is literally impossible. Yeah, there were mad there so many deaths. And he just wasn't killing criminals. He was killing innocent people, too. And also people with just petty crimes. He probably killed your ass if you got a speeding ticket. Because this motherfucker this was just evil. Here, I mean, bro. you know how many families he probably tore apart doing this shit? A lot. Shit, what like equals one prayer for these families, man? But here's what we'll do. If one of y'all can get an actual reasonable number and people actually agree with you, I'll pin the comment and we'll make that our number. But you know what that number gonna be right now? Drum roll, please.
A lot. <laughs> It is what it a is. lot. I ain't lying. <laughs> Anyways, man. how many did cool. you kill? And a lot. Another installment of Venom is deadly and serious. So hope y'all enjoyed and uh, get ready, baby, because our next trial is gonna be the beefiest one we've ever had. Yes, I'm already giving you a warning right now. So, and bro, I've been talking to this nigga about this. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic, twin. My video. <laughs> <laughs>